All right, so you think you've got phishing all figured out. Think again, because it's not just those, like, dodgy emails anymore. This stuff, it's getting seriously sophisticated, and the bad guys are upping their game. Yeah, no kidding. Which is where today's deep dive comes in. Let's do it. We're tackling a new threat, and it's a big one, especially for all you Microsoft 365 users out there. To help us unpack all of this, we're joined by our cybersecurity expert. Welcome. I'm really glad you're here. Glad to be here. So what we're looking at today is this thing called Mamba2FA, and it's not just some, you know, random scam, right? Oh, no. This is like next-level phishing. We've got this article here from Bleeping Computer, always a really reliable source, and honestly, it's pretty concerning. Yeah, it's not your average phishing kit. Okay, so let's break this down. What exactly makes Mamba2FA different? So it's what we call phishing as a service, or face. Mm -hmm. Imagine like a dark web version of those meal kit services, but for stealing your digital life. They basically hand over prepackaged phishing campaigns ready to deploy. We're talking sophisticated tools and tactics that were once only available to, like, high-level hackers, but now anyone with a few hundred bucks can get in on the action. Okay, hold up a few hundred bucks. The article mentioned $250 a month. That's disturbingly accessible. We're talking less than a gym membership to potentially, like, wreak havoc. Exactly. Cybercrime is becoming increasingly commoditized. And that's terrifying because it opens the floodgates to a whole new wave of attackers. And this whole adversary in the middle thing or ATM that Mama2FA uses. It's designed to bypass two-factor authentication, which is supposed to be our saving grace, right? Yeah. Like that's what we're all told to set up. Exactly. Imagine this. You try to log in to your Microsoft account and you get that familiar text message with your verification code. But little do you know, there's Mama2FA, this sneaky piece of software sitting between you and Microsoft. So when you enter that code, you're actually handing it straight to the attacker. So even with 2FA, you're essentially opening the door for them. It's like that extra lock on your front door is useless because they figured out how to intercept the key before it even reaches your hand. And the developers behind Mamba 2FA are constantly evolving its capabilities to stay ahead of security measures. This bleeping computer article mentioned they rotate link domains weekly and use services like IP Royal to mask IP addresses, making them even harder to track. So it's like they're always one step ahead. Always adapting. That's the really scary part, right? Mm -hmm. They're constantly adapting and refining their tactics. And on top of that, the article mentioned how convincing these Mamba 2FA phishing attempts are. Oh, yeah. It's not just some generic, like, your account has been compromised message. (laughs) These guys are mimicking those Microsoft 365 login pages down to, like, the very last detail. Yeah. They can even steal your organization's logos. All about creating that air of legitimacy. Yeah. Preying on your trust in the familiar. Do you think you're clicking a link from Microsoft? But Mamba 2FA is pulling the strings behind the scenes. Right. And that dynamic branding aspect you mentioned, that's how they take it to the next level. They can literally lift your organization's logo and slap it on their fake login page. Yeah. It's all about making that phishing site indistinguishable from the real deal. So even if you're generally pretty good about checking URLs and like watching for red flags, this Mama 2FA thing could still slip past your radar. Absolutely. It's unnerving. And it's not just those general login pages they target. Right. We're talking about phishing templates for OneDrive SharePoint online. Even those fake voicemail notifications that lure you into clicking. Yeah. I guess a wide net hoping to snag someone who's not paying close enough attention. Speaking of sneaky... There is this detail in the article about HTML attachments with hidden JavaScript. Oh, yeah. What's the deal with that? How can people protect themselves from something that's practically invisible? That's how they slip through traditional security filters. Imagine opening what you believe is a harmless document. But lurking beneath the surface is malicious JavaScript just waiting to execute. Oh, wow. And to make matters worse, they employ something called sandbox detection. Basically, the Mamba 2FA can sense if it's being analyzed in a controlled environment, like a security researcher's sandbox. If it detects that it's being watched, it goes dark, making it incredibly difficult to study and predict its next move. So it's like it knows it's being watched and changes its behavior accordingly. Pretty much. That's straight out of a spy thriller. It's a cat and mouse game, and these guys are playing to win. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. Okay, good. There are ways to protect yourself even against something as sophisticated as Mamba 2FA. Okay, good. There are ways to protect yourself even against something as sophisticated as Mamba 2FA. Okay, so we've established that Mamba 2FA is... Yeah. Pretty terrifying stuff. Definitely. But you're saying it's not game over. Not at all. There are ways to fight back. Absolutely. Even with all its bells and whistles, Mamba 2FA isn't invincible. 
The bleeping computer article we've been discussing actually outlines some really effective countermeasures. Okay, so how do we turn the tables on this thing? What's our game plan? First up, we've got hardware security keys. Think of them as the ultimate bouncer for your online accounts. You need that physical key plugged in or tapped to verify your identity. It's like trying to pick a lock with a wet noodle. Virtually impossible for attackers to intercept. Hardware keys. Check. Got it. What else? Then there's certificate-based authentication. Now, I know that might sound a little intimidating, but stick with me. Yeah. Imagine instead of a password, you've got this super secure digital certificate that verifies your identity. It's like having a unique fingerprint that's nearly impossible to fake. So it's like a digital fingerprint that's actually effective. I like it. What about some simpler measures, though? Things that even like the least tech savvy listener can implement. Yeah. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. One option is geo blocking and IP allow listing. Think of it as like a digital fence around your accounts. You're essentially telling Microsoft 365, hey, only allow access from these specific locations. So if someone in, say, Russia tries to log in with your credentials. Right. Bam, they're blocked. Location, location. Well, even if they snag your login info, they're shut out by their location. Genius. What about device specific security? You're thinking along the right lines. Device allow listing is another powerful tool. You're basically whitelisting specific devices that are authorized to access your account. Anything else is a no go. Okay. Starting to feel a bit more empowered here. Anything else we can add to our arsenal? One more pro tip token lifespan shortening. We talked about how Mamba 2FA intercepts those authentication codes. Well, this strategy is like slamming the door shut before they can even grab the key. You can shorten the lifespan of those tokens to just a minute or even less. So even if an attacker manages to snatch one, they've got a very limited window to do any damage. It's like setting a timer on a self-destructing message. Very cool. We've covered a lot of ground here from the inner workings of Mamba 2FA to some seriously smart ways to shut it down been a bit of a cybersecurity boot camp. And the key takeaway here is this. You are not powerless. Awareness is your best defense. Stay informed, be cautious, and don't let your guard down. Couldn't agree more. A huge thank you to our cybersecurity expert for breaking down this threat and more importantly for equipping us with the knowledge to fight back. And to all of you listeners, thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of Mamba 2FA. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay safe out there and we'll catch you on the next deep dive.